Hi, today we're going to learn how to grade discussion boards. You can assign discussion grades both within a forum or a thread. And you can assign grades based on student participation, on the quality of their posts, or a combination of the two. A word about grading group discussion forums. If you're using group discussion boards, the process for grading them is exactly the same. And in fact, I'm going to show you how to grade a group discussion board today. Unlike other graded group activities, however, when you set a group discussion board to be graded, each member is graded independently of other group members. So each group member must make the designated number of posts to earn his or her own grade. You do not assign a group grade for contributions to the group discussion board. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is how to enable discussion grading. And as I said, we're going to be using a group discussion board, but this is the same process even if it's a course discussion board. So I'm going to go into my group discussion. I'm going to access my group, and I'm going to go to the discussion board for that group. And the way this works is when you edit or create a forum, you can enable these grading options. And what I'm going to do here is just edit this forum, since it's already created. And then you'll see down here under forum settings is where we can enable the grading. So you have the option, and this is the default, to have no grading in the forum, or you can choose to grade the discussion forum and then assign a point total. You can also assign a due date, and if you choose to use rubrics with your grading, then you can attach a rubric here as well. And you'll be prompted when you do that to accept the total points that the rubric is worth as the points possible for this discussion forum. When you enable grading in a discussion forum, a grade center column is created automatically. Only users with the role of instructor or grader can assign grades for discussion board posts, but a grader cannot view his or her own work. So I'm going to click Submit now, and we'll see how to actually grade forum participation. So first I'm going to access the gradable discussion forum. So instead of clicking the downward arrow, this time I'm going to click right on the forum. And that takes me to this page. And now I'm going to click Grade Discussion Forum. This button will not, set, uh, will not show up if the forum is not set to be gradable. Once I do that, I'm taken to a page that has a list of all the forum users and the number of posts that they have made. So on this page, I can click Grade in a user's row. Uh, what I might be looking for is the number of posts that that person's made. So for instance, if you're requiring that a student make an initial post and then a reply to another student's post, then you're probably looking for at least two posts before you grade. So I'll click Grade. So now we're on the Grade Discussion Forum page. And um, what we see is a collection of the student's post that they have made. and um, I see here their post, and I can see any of the replies that they've made to other people's postings. So um, all the messages from that particular student are collected right here for you to see. Makes it a little easier and faster for grading. Over here on the grading sidebar, you have a number of options. For instance, you have forum statistics. You can click to access this and includes information about a user's post, such as total posts, the date of their last post, their average post length, and the average post position, that is, where in the thread this post um, is showing up. I can also click the double downward arrow here uh, under the user's name to view a list and select a user with posts ready to grade. So if I want to, I can see all the users who have posted to this discussion board, and I can move around from user to user using this tool. I can close that. Um, and then, I have the actual grading area right here. So in this area, this blue area, I can evaluate the currently selected user's post. Uh, so I can just type a grade, I can provide feedback, and you notice I was using a rubric, so I can also open that up and then use the rubric to grade this discussion post. So I can show the description of the criteria, and I can provide a little area for feedback for each, uh, each specific criterion in the rubric. Make that small again. And then um, I can provide overall feedback to the learner. If I want, I can add private notes that only I see and the student does not. And I can actually even go ahead and use the text box editor 
to provide more robust feedback, such as if I want to record a Kaltura video as my feedback for this discussion post, I can do that. So you have lots of options here to provide feedback. Once you're finished, I'm just going to put a grade in here. And once you're finished, you can click Submit. And the grade is then submitted to the Grade Center for this user for this discussion board forum. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you have any questions, um, please contact Cetus Design, and we'll do our best to help you. Thanks.